I'm going to pull up four key elements here to a comprehensive approach to stress. The first element is stressors. And Dave mentioned this whole idea around the stressor strain relationship. So stressors are anything in the environment that essentially elicits that, that negative high arousal, that, that mismatch between demands and resources. So stressors, typically speaking, are elements of the environment or elements of uh, demands that we experience. The second key element with regard to a comprehensive approach is resiliency. Some people are more resilient to these demands than are others. You can take two people and put them in the same situation. One of them may find it uh, manageable and the other one may not. And some of that has to do with individual differences in resiliency. And Alan, you and I talked about this last night, was the whole notion of, of resiliency and leadership. Some people are much more resilient leaders than others are. So they encounter obstacles and challenges, and they seem to respond to those obstacles and challenges in very, very different ways. The third key element there is coping. How do people cope with and manage stress that they experience? So yeah, that's great. We can, we can focus on resiliency and try to make people less prone to those stress outcomes, that stress experience, but we're never going to eliminate stress. So what then we need to do is to, to, to make sure that people have the tools within their toolbox to manage the stress that they experience and manage it in a, an adaptive way. And last but not least is the remediation component. There are going to be people that are going to get burned out. There are going to be people that, no matter what we do in these other three areas, that are going to suffer physical and mental health impairments as a result of stress. And so we also need to make sure that we have pieces in place to help that remediational element, to get people back up to where they need to be.